I want to talk about the third tool that modern genetics gives us, and that is the ability to tell a story about history. This is a powerful tool. It's easily manipulated by the evolutionary establishment, but I think our story is concrete. I would like to illustrate the importance of this by giving you a quote from an atheist who said this during a debate on atheism. I want you to see how powerful the story is. He said, the most devastating thing that biology did to Christianity was the discovery of biological evolution. Now that we know that Adam and Eve never were real people, the central myth of Christianity is destroyed. If there never was an Adam and Eve, there never was an original sin. If there never was an original sin, there's no need of salvation. If there's no need of salvation, there's no need of a savior, and I submit that puts Jesus, historical or otherwise, into the ranks of the unemployed. I think that evolution is absolutely the death knell of Christianity. I agree with him 100% after his starting assumption, which I believe is incorrect. He is being consistent, and his conclusion is a conclusion that many other atheists have already reached. But that starting point, Adam and Eve never were real people, well, I'll take exception to that. You see, the Bible, if you just take it at face value, it shouts that it is the history book of the universe. And they may, there are some, some very bold claims that it makes right at the very beginning that run like golden threads throughout the entire text unifying the whole thing. But the biblical model of human history is very different than the evolutionary model. See, the biblical model, we have two people being created about 6,000 years ago. In the evolutionary model, the most common one today, they say, well, the effective population size of humanity was approximately 10,000 people, and they existed in Africa for about a million years and before they escaped and spread out through the rest of the world. These are radically different things. But you see, the tools of modern genetics can be used to test these and to explore which story is more accurate.